both have like signals from your parents if the FBI people came in the middle of the night? He's old. He, he's yeah. a little older, so did. that's what happened more than him. My sister was old. The FBI had come to deliver subpoenas uh, at, at very early in the morning. Um, and so I was trained at like five years old that if somebody knocked the door, they'd wake me up and run the door and say, my parents aren't here. And I'd say, can we come in and say no? And that, that's what I did. I mean, the FBI had come in. And now I'm here alone. <laughs> <laughs> you can't come in. <laughs> First time you had a realization of what the blacklist really meant. Oh, you know, it's so it's like finding out you're human. It's uh, just yeah. uh, for me, it's just the river that runs through my life. Uh, there were moments when I remember not understanding what was what I was being told, mm -hmm. like don't ever talk about communism. Okay, what's communism? <laughs> uh, I was too young. I was five or six or seven or eight years old. Um, I understood that there was stress, that much I understood. But of course, years later, and then we were part of the student movement of the 60s, the countercultural movement of the 60s, the most irritating part of it was that I would go to a demonstration, and there were my parents. <laughs> and I'd go, Ma, Pa, don't talk to me, okay? And they were my friends. It, it just, it's like I couldn't get away from them. It was terrible. We're part of the same movement. We're on the same side. That, anyway. that picture, by the way, is Joe's mother. That's Madeline okay. Lee Guilford up there. And um, that was from, uh, she came to see Zero Hour one night. And I talked about her in the show. And just about a minute before I was launching into this thing about the blacklist and saying, and Madeline Lee, I looked over, she was sound asleep. <laughs> uh, she was in the front row, she was sound asleep. If there were no theater, my mother would never get me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I found out that day that theater slept 200 companies. <laughs> So anyway, about a, a minute before I was about to launch into this thing, and I said in the blacklist, and it was terrible, and I banged on the desk, and I said, and Madeline Lee, she got out of her chair. Too. <laughs>